Hello YouTube! <laughs> Alright, we're going to try something a little bit different today. I do have the camera set on wide angle so you can get a better view of the of the room, but it does make it look a lot bigger than it really is. Uh, as you can see, I've got the paint out because I was actually um, doing some painting in the bathroom. It isn't totally done, but I've started to paint the walls white and uh, long story short, the light fell apart, but I fixed it. I added a fan. You can see the line there. I pulled that's that's 12 volts DC. And I pulled the line, brought the fan, and mounted it to the wall here. And that allows the this fan. It's mounted directly onto the wall. I don't know if you can see behind there, but it allows the fan to blow at you while you're on the throne. <laughs> and you can turn it on and off through here. That switch. So. When you're sitting here, you got a fan that can blow right at you. So if you're off grid and you know you don't have the AC running, you at least can have a fan blowing at you while you're on the throne. So it's kind of nice. Um, there is a, a fan up overhead, but that one I have it turned off right now, but I can turn it on by hitting a button here. That doesn't blow down, that blows out, so it pulls air outside and blows it outside to blow away the moisture and smells and whatnot from inside the bathroom. But this one can blow right at you, you, you know, it's a, it's the regular um, cheapy Walmart 12, 12 volt, I think it's like 12 to 15 dollar fan. And um, basically, I'm going to finish painting, I haven't done a really good job, but I'm, you know, I'm painting the walls white just to make the room a little bit brighter. I'm debating if I want to paint this, because paint may come off. I don't know if paint will stay on, I might try it. Paint it all white, you know, the, the same, with, this is elastomeric paint, the same stuff I use on the roofing. I uh, probably need another coat or two, I just, and I didn't even seal the seams and stuff, because I didn't bother. I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not trying to do a super, super good job, I'm just trying to do good enough. Um... To do a super super good job, you have to tape things down, take things apart, do it correctly. Takes longer, um, looks better, but takes longer. And time is always an issue on this end because I've got to, I got a lot of stuff going on on this end. But basically, I'm gonna try to finish painting here, um, at least the bathroom within this next week, the next couple days. It's mostly done. I do need to finish this section here. Um, when I finish sealing this off. I don't know if you can see the floor has been um, redone. It has the same wood paneling. Underneath, what I did was I put up some um, plastic lids from soda bottles and I glued them down to raise the floor up. And you're like, why is he doing that? Well, remember the floor was getting wet and I couldn't figure out why we're gonna leave it wet. <laughs> I mean, it, it dries out and stuff, but at least now the floor won't be directly wet. And I haven't really seen it, you know, since I covered it up, obviously. But even before I was covering it up, I didn't really notice it. I didn't want to rip everything apart. I didn't want to rip all this apart, the floor, and cut the floor, and do all sorts of crazy stuff. Which I was going to do, but I, I said, you know what? We just need, need to make this functional so we can use the bathroom and take a shower in here and stuff. Uh, currently, I do shower, but I use this shower system. You remember the, the, the little thing? I fill it with water. I didn't even bother with the center... Um, there used to be a straw that goes down the center and don't even need that really because I, I hold it and I kind of tilt it and you know water comes out like that it kind of sprinkles on me and then of course you know um, it goes into the RV uh, gray water tank so I do shower pretty much uh, every day or nearly every day every other day if not every day so that I'm fairly clean when I go to work and stuff um, I use the RV pretty much like a you know a little home base to shower and stuff since gyms and stuff remember we used to shower at uh, like um planet fitness and other gyms they, it, most of them are still like off limits as far as on um, the bathrooms and the showers and stuff so having access to the shower is really nice i do need to finish it up make it even nicer make it a, a nicer room in here but yeah this is uh coming along pretty good costless negligible just paint mostly um Having the fan here certainly is making a huge difference. I can feel the breeze and it's nice and cool. And you know, it's all tied into this switch. So when I hit the switch here, everything shuts off. I do have a second light that I need to install here. Then it can have light kind of in here if you want it in here. You know, if you need it brighter in the shower area. And because it's 12 volts, 
it'll run off um, grid when you're off grid when you're not connected to anything directly off the 12 volt um, battery bank so you don't even need to run the inverter which saves power because whenever you run the inverter um, you lose some power um, due to conversion you lose some energy the back room still needs to be cleaned up um, I mean it's this is like less than an hour to clean this 15 20 minutes to clean this up I just threw some stuff on here you know because I'm moving things around to to work but that is uh, the other computer and it is going to become my main computer the, the one that I found that somebody was throwing away it's got Windows 10 on it and I've been installing stuff on it and um, it seems to be working pretty good it's the best machine I have which is sad but that is the best machine and it's not a bad machine I think it runs at like 2.9 gigahertz and it has four gigabytes of ram so um you know a nice machine i do pipe the sound out through there so sometimes i set this up um the, the reason you see it like it is right now i had set it up as like a jukebox so it was playing my playlist of mp3s and you know it plays throughout the whole rv well not the whole rv just back here but i can hear it throughout the whole rv so i was doing that while i was working and stuff but just wanted to show you around what's what's going on right now. But this looks like a mess, but it really isn't too bad. It's it's a few minutes of cleaning. This though, I'm really proud of because the bathroom is um, probably I would say about 80% done now. Just a couple more little things to clean it up um, and some paint, clean the sink. I also need to fix this to because I'm eventually going to use a shower from there instead of um, water, you know, from from the bottles. So that that is the plan. Um, the front still needs cleaning, but it's not too bad. You can see I've uh, you know moved most of the cases and stuff. I got rid of some stuff. Um, still need to sort through things. This is garbage that's going out. But basically, I'm trying to consolidate it down to like one or two tubs and then put those into storage somewhere in the RV. Uh, this is all just basically piles of stuff. And you can see I was making food and eating and stuff. Um, you might notice the game is playing by itself. Um, you can see my character is sitting there playing by itself. There's no one on the keyboard, and yet, and you can see the, the little mob, the little bear, running in front right there. Now watch what happens. It came to attack, and my character's automatically attacking, and my pet two-headed dog is attacking as well. And you're like, what's going on here? How, how's this happening? Well, believe it or not, I have a robot running. Um, it's a robot that I wrote. This is like a 20-year-old robot. <laughs> I basically wrote a robot to play World of Warcraft for me. And you're like, what? Yeah, I, you know, once you've leveled your character before, um, you really, you know, it's kind of boring to level over and over and over and over. And um, what had happened was my now ex-wife was addicted to this game. And I was like, you know, because like you have to play this game like night and day and, you know, a lot to, to level it up and stuff. So I was like, you know, um, I think I'm going to write a little thing to help people with their Warcraft addiction. And I wrote a little robot that um, will play the game, kind of. So you can see another mob there. And now watch what happens. She's healing her pet right now. You know, when she, you put her arms out, she's going to target that, that mob, that, that wild hyena. There, she targeted it, and she's fighting it. So, you know... Now, it doesn't auto-loot or anything, because this is a really simple robot. But this was the robot I used to level my character up in Warsong, not Warsong, but in the um, the Battlegrounds when, when World of Warcraft only went up to like level 60. And I used this little robot, actually the, it was a prototype of this robot, and it helped me get my character all the way up to like Warlord. You know, so... You can see it doesn't loot. If I want to loot, it just targeted another character. I'm going to let them fight, but I'm going to go ahead and loot. Get some goodies. Alright. So, that is a robot. I'll show it to you another day, and then if you guys want copies of this robot, I'll make it available to you. For those of you who, who like playing the game but don't really want to play just like me. And what I'm doing is I'm... I'm basically letting the character kill mobs and see that blue bar right there? This little blue bar. Once it goes all the way across the screen, I hit another level. I'm currently like level 73. So I think it could probably do one level a day. So one day it'll go up one level if you let it run a long time. But 
I'm not able to let it run night and day. So I'm probably going to hit, I'm going to log out here soon, only like half a level. But normally if I, if, if I was like in a regular house or something with um, internet access and stuff, instead of having to leave the RV, I could let this run at night while I sleep. I could even turn the monitor and the sound off and don't need to hear anything. And the game will play itself and level up my character for me all the way up to the, you know. You, you have to move it around to kill mobs at different levels for for experience points. So you do have to kind of come and check on it and move it around. But it lets you um, play the game without playing. So the game is playing by itself while I was working and cleaning and stuff and fixing fans. I had a bunch of broken ones. This one's totally burnt out, so I'm ripping it apart to pull components. I had like three dead fans, but I fixed two of them. So, you know, here's one that I fixed, I think. Is it this one? I don't know, one of these I fixed. So I fixed, um, I fixed two of them, and I fixed one and put it here in the, um, the bathroom. So I got plenty of those little fans. So the, the reason they're, they're important is they're 12 volts. So they can run off the RV without the um, inverter running. And um, that saves you power because whenever you, you have to have the inverter running, it wastes a lot of energy to convert um, 12 volts to 120 volts. So the game is playing and I just wanted to show you again. You can see how I built this fan here. See, it had to be cut and all sorts of stuff, but long story short, some of them may have had a bad switch, others had a bad tip or whatever. That one had a bad motor, I had to diagnose and figure out what was wrong with it to fix it. But this is working now and actually in a good spot. So it'll make it so when you come to use the bathroom or take a shower and stuff, it's not like a sauna in here. And I have two other fans here for like when I want to sleep. That way, you know, at night, like see during the daytime, I can actually run this air conditioning unit when it's sunny out. Um, can't run it non-stop. I can run it for a couple of hours. You gotta power down. You gotta watch the the battery bank. I don't have enough. What it is is I don't have enough batteries and I don't have enough solar panels. I could get like if I doubled my battery bank, it might be usable for the whole day. But really, you need more solar panels. It, it's complicated to run air conditioning completely off solar. You need a lot of solar panels and you need a large, a huge battery bank. But I'm able to do it when I want to, although most of the time what I found is um, running the fans, multiple fans, is adequate. It, you know, when you have the windows open and a breeze blowing through, you got the top. I might even install a fan up there, but I don't want to buy like a, uh, what do they call those, fantastic fans? Fanta the vent fans that you put into RVs or into camper vans. I think those cost like over $100, but I'm going to con convert these Walmart fans to go up there. <laughs> so, you know, it's a $12 solution instead of um, spending hundreds of dollars. So I'm going to shut this off here. And um, hopefully the next time you see the bathroom, it'll pretty much be done. And I've been checking the leaks. You know, it's been raining outside. It's been raining a lot, actually, which is slowing down things. But um, it looks like it's not leaking anymore. I did... Um, bleach and clean this area. I was going to rip all this apart, but I, I see that bleaching it has gotten rid of the mold and stuff, so I'm just going to go ahead and paint over that. I'm not going to rip all this out. I was originally going to cut this out and put in a whole new panel, but I'm like, you know what? Bleaching it killed it, and what's important is this. There's no new further leaks, So, and it was pouring rain earlier today. So that means that the elastomeric paint that I put on the roofing did the job. It has sealed all the little tiny cracks, all the little tiny holes. So the RV, I think, is waterproof at this point, on, at least on the roof. I'll have to double check the, door, the window here, but I think I fixed that too with just tape, one of those Gorilla Tape thingies. So the RV is um, sealed now, and what that means is I can actually start painting the roof. So. Over the course of the next couple uh, weeks, you're going to see more and more uh, work being done on the RV. So these, these wood panels will start to get painted white. I'm just going to paint everything white because I think white will make everything look a little bit roomier. And they had originally started to paint things white, but you can see they did a terrible job. They kind of stopped. But I'm going to go ahead and finish it up. I did add this tab here. And that was added so that when you kind of put the door like this, it seals it, you know, like that. And the reason I had it do that was... This back room can run the air conditioning 
by itself back here and just keep this back section. That little AC will not um, cool down the whole RV. But if I shut this door here, you know, when I'm in the bedroom, I have a nice little bedroom. I have entertainment with the computer, TV, and whatnot. I have the computer on. I mean, the fan on, the AC on. It's nice and cool blowing right at me. I can even have fans circulating and blowing. I got a bathroom here. That's nice. So it's like a self-contained little area, half of the apartment, if you want to call it that. And um, that's why that's sealed, to keep the air inside here. I can also further seal it by um, closing this area off. And that makes a room even smaller. So that, that small air conditioner can keep up with half of the RV. If I try to leave it to do the whole RV, it would not cool down the whole RV. This big one does, though. But, you know, running it off solar doesn't last very long. So I haven't been really running that. You run it off the generator, but then you got about three, four hours before it runs out. You know, you got to add more gas. So I use this if I'm um, on shore power where I can plug in and run the air conditioner off um, like an RV park or something like that. Anyhow, I am going to go ahead and sign out. Just uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode here. Just wanted to let you know what's going on. Uh, slowly but surely the RV is coming together. Hopefully, hopefully the next time you see a video from me, this will all be cleared out. You can see it's starting to get cleared out. A uh, computer workstation is up and this fan is really nice. It sucks in a lot of air. Feels like air conditioning right here because the air is kind of wet outside so it's blowing cold wet air at me. But anyhow, um, having this computer playing the game is, is uh, <laughs> making it so I can multitask. I can actually continue to level my character and get some work done. So until next time, everyone, take care. God bless you all. Please stay safe. And um, if you're interested in this um, robot, let me know. Um, I'm in process of going through all my old code and, and stuff, and I'll be um, releasing this robot as well as uh, some other code to, to make life a little bit easier for everybody. So take care. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye now.